In this video, I want to talk about the second fundamental theorem of calculus. It basically says if you have a continuous function, that there is a formula you can use, and it's actually really easy. So if you take the derivative with respect to x of the definite integral from a to x of f of t dt, all you have to do, okay, is you just put the x where the t is. So this is just f of x. That's all you do. So let's do a simple example right away, and then maybe we'll go through the proof. Again, the condition here is that f is continuous. Let's do a simple example so you see how simple this actually is. It looks really hard, but it's actually really easy. So if you have d dx of, let's say, the integral, let's make the a a 2. Let's make this an x. Let's put something here. Ooh, let's put something weird here, something that you might not be familiar with. Arc sine of t dt. So according to the formula, all you have to do when you take this derivative is you just take the x and you put it where the t is. So it's arc sine of x. That's it. So let's do another one, <laughs> one more, so you see how simple it is. d dx, let's do 4. Let's put an x here, and let's put um, e to the t squared dt. That's a fun one. So same thing. All you do is you take the x and you put it where the t is. So this will be e to the x squared. So that's how you use the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So whenever you have a number here and an x, and you take the derivative and it's set up just like this, you just take the x, put it where the t is. Take the x, put it where the t is. Let's do a really, really, really quick proof sketch, just so you see uh, why this is true. So this is like a proof sketch. I can be really formal here. So I'll just call it a proof and put it in quotes, just for understanding purposes. So our function's continuous. So what we can do here is we can use what's called the first fundamental theorem of calculus. So this says that this is going to be equal to big F of x minus big F of a. If you remember this uh, from, from before, it was, B, it was big F of b minus big F of a, except this time it's x. Where big F is an antiderivative for little f. That means if you take the derivative of big F, you get little f. In fact, when you take the derivative of big F, you get little f. That's the definition, right? The derivative of big F is little f. This is a number, so it's just zero, so we just get f of x. So I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.